almost up to my turn off. 100 meters, I get to turn and head towards Mount Locke and then down the West Kiwa Valley. The wind, it's so windy. It's been windy all night like this. It's been crashing the tent all night. It's hard to sleep. It's getting towards daylight. Daylight, the wind. It's windy, really windy. The sun is about to rise. We'll get past the clouds that are in its way very shortly. I've had breakfast, brush my teeth, and pack up. Like I'm glad my tent's still standing. I was a bit concerned in the night. I've had them snap the poles and rip them in half before. Just over on that ridge line over there. About five, six years ago. Beautiful day. Looks like it's going to be, except for the wind, but we're heading down pretty quickly, down to the Kiwa Valley. So, let's pack up and greet the day. Still really windy. A bit chilly on the hands even. Should warm up in a bit pretty quickly. But this wind. Oh, this wind is hard. But hopefully we've got everything get out of here. Lose some elevation.
off this windswept mountain, Mount Lock. As I leave the elevation, it shouldn't be so windy. Oh, that wind all night. Hard to pack up your tent when it's blowing. <laughs> Makes packing up your tent very hard. It's even already it's died down as soon as I got off the top part. Already it's a lot more peaceful up where I, I camped there for the view, which is brilliant, but it is on a high exposed area and the winds were oh, all night, like I said, they were ferocious. I was just glad my tent didn't rip in half or the pole snapped. This is where I collected water here, down in the gully i went straight off the side here yesterday to go get six seven liters of water down there being this Spring snow, some of the snow is quite soft. It might have firmed up a little bit during the night. Don't think I'll get through that bit. It's just too soft. My tyres are probably at 20 psi or 15, something like that.
might be the last we see of Feathertop <clears throat> on that direct line. Probably see it as we go around, but we must head off this ridge line soon, I think. Be nice to leave this windy environment. Because the temperature wise, it's going to be quite pleasant. Now, do we turn right here? I think so. Pin bend and then we head down this should get a lot warmer now and we should be protected from the wind fairly shortly almost straight away goes quiet Descend fairly rapidly down into the West Kiwa Valley and the West Kiwa River down there. Ah, ah. Okay, better do some alterations. My jacket gets caught, my Gore Tex jacket gets caught on the seat post behind me, and I can't get off then. Take my jacket off, but it's warm now anyway. It's already warm down here. Yeah. Aim to plough through it in case I do come off. It will hurt. And now it's a nice spring day here in northeast Victoria. So my bike's got to roll off with a Gates belt drive now. I had the chain before, but now I've converted it to the belt drive. And when I took it to the bike shop to get it done, they discovered the bike frame, the old Mura, had a crack in it. And they tried to see if they could get it welded, but they said they couldn't anywhere. So they said the only option is to get a new frame. So they couldn't find one. So I got a new frame over in the US, an El Gordo custom made and made in the US and got that imported which took a long time through different factors well it was through Cycle Monkey and um, they sold me a demo but they discovered they'd already sold out of the demos even though they took my money <laughs> so, so then I had to um, 
order another one and it took a fair while because I had to build it at the at the actual El Gordo um, manufacturer so yeah and then I had to get new cranks and yeah lots and lots of new things so it's cost me a lot of money but I've also got the new roof box with the carbon fibre rods for suspension so lots of changes I'm trying out the extra wheel trailer again but I think I'm going to ditch it I don't like it I think I'm going to try and pack everything on the bike I think it has to be done that way it might be okay for flat riding but on the hills and stuff it just yeah I don't think it's for me anyway it's a beautiful day and we're out cycling so that's the main thing it's so nice to be out We zigzag down. snow pretty quickly that might even be the last patch we get to see that we're actually cycling through for the moment whoa red robin mine Not sure if it's still going, I don't think so. It's a pretty remote place to do some mining. But miners went everywhere looking for that elusive gold. That gold that everyone searches for. It would have been a hard place to find it. That's Red Robin Mine. The forest has changed now. We're into the bigger trees, the mountain ash, or the woolly butts. They have done maintenance here. This has been chainsawed not that long ago by the look of it.
got our first bridge. Load limit, 32 tonne. I think we should be fine there. The wind's died down here, hidden in the gully. Still cool, hasn't had that sunshine. Nice sunshine. We're going for a pleasant day today. For around 20 degrees maybe. Maybe. Depending where we go. <laughs> Haven't decided yet. I'll decide as the day progresses <laughs> which direction I'm going. see what the time factor is and then we'll decide that'll be a mystery until then even for me well we're on machinery spur we're going to be on West Kiwa logging road now this is a track intersection Gibbons hut up that direction and that's where we come from A little bit of an uphill there. Okay, it's flattened out a fair bit now. We still descend because we're on the West Kiwa going downwards, but we're in the valley. But it will be uphill now. I found a lyrebird tail feather just on the track just before. Very spectacular. Some of those rocks were pretty big. It's just holding my balance. Remember, I have got an extra wheel trailer behind me and it throws your balance out. <laughs> right, we're coming up to the West Kiwa River crossing. 
We're following Dungley's track at the moment. So I'm not looking forward to this river crossing. It's going to be cold. I'm going to probably have to keep my runners on and then just try and dry them out. It'll be too cold for my feet with the bike and I want it. Anyway. Hopefully it's crossable. There is a really nice camp spot down here. I'll consider it once I cross the river. <laughs> Anyone want to do this bit for me? I just hope it's not too high that I can do it. There's a lot of snow melting. I've done it in summer, but that's summer. That's a different story. A beautiful camp spot by the West Kiwa River. Hmm. It's be pretty deep. That's deep. That's really deep. My legs aren't normally red. <laughs> yes, it's pretty cold. <laughs> oh well, I think about two more trips to go. Got the bike, which I won't be able to use the pole with. Been using a pole for stabilization, which works quite well. And I've got all my good cameras in there, so I've got to put them in a waterproof bag because that's not waterproof. So hopefully two more trips. This first bit's the hardest flowing, just this bit here. It's quite fast flowing. That's my good Sony A1 camera in there. That's why I had to put it into the waterproof bag. Now to get the bike. I won't be able to use the stick with the bike. Oh well.
I'm so glad that's done. It's okay, but you're on the edge the whole time if something goes wrong and well, you could eat yourself quite easy. It's actually flowing quite decent at the moment and it's not too cold. I mean, it's cold, don't get me wrong on that. It's cold coming from the snow, but it could be colder, so, and the sun's shining, so. so glad to do that. Now I'll have a look at the map. It's a beautiful camp spot here. So maybe here would be a great place to dry my socks and shoes and have a nice campsite. I think it's about, it's only about almost two o'clock, just before two I think. I decided to camp here last night next to the West Kiwa River. It's a nice campground. In the pack up at the moment. But unfortunately it's very wet obviously being next to a river so everything's very wet so it's quite cold at the moment but i can see sunshine above the day is going to be a nice blue sky day <laughs> just as soon as i get up to there i'll be in sunshine so i've just got to pack the bike it's all wet all wet quite cold and yeah and head up into the sunshine and it should be okay. I'm gonna try and get back today if I can. I'm getting low on food. But anyway, nice blue sky day. It was a cold start this morning. My hands have only just warmed up. They're in a lot of pain. The first 20 minutes, so I got to the sunshine, sat in the sunshine and warmed them up. I'm glad to be up a little bit higher in the sunshine. Wasn't expecting it to be that cold. It wasn't below zero, but I think it was so humid and so moist everything, I think it was wet. My hands got really cold to the point where they were hurting quite a bit. But we're going now and I also had a flat tire to start with. So I had to pump it up and hopefully the sealant will seal it. And it's just another thing when I was ready to go. I was like, I'm cold. Oh no, got a flat tire. Oh well. I had to deal with it and pump it up. Hopefully it stays up. Also the back wheel is coming loose for some reason on my wheel so i have to keep tightening it up for some reason i don't know why but i have to try and get that fixed work out the problem because i've had the actual hub come out twice now like you go to pedal up hard up a hill and then wham whole hub comes out and it's almost damaged the disc brake yesterday I thought I'd bent it maybe but luckily I hadn't it's pretty scary anyway heading up away from the West Kiwa River on Dungley track They've had a bulldozer through it at the moment and they're doing the track. Well, it's cleared it in some ways. It's made it really soft in other ways. Like this is the good section. Some of it's been like, yeah, it's ploughed up a fair bit. It's lucky I've got fat bike tyres at the moment. 
It used to be such a smooth track last time I was on it. <laughs> anyway, it's getting better again now. Let's hope it stays this way. I just got to see some really nice of these birds, the paradotes. Yeah, the two of them. There's a nest, the female and the male. And they let me get real close. And then they went inside the nest, both of them, to feed the young ones when I was there. Which is really nice to see. We're just starting to get some views of Mount Beauty on the right. Well, sort of that direction anyway. Can't quite see Mount Beauty at the moment, but very shortly. Down sort of that direction there. That's Mount Beauty. As we sidle around. I've climbed out of the Kiwa Valley a bit and now it's sort of just undulating. I think we go up to about maybe 11, 1200 meters. I think just below maybe 1200. And we're already probably up at about a thousand, so that's not too bad. We've got a few kilometers done today. I'm hoping I finish today because I've got one pack of two minute noodles and three muesli bars <laughs> and a few veggies, but that's okay. It's a bit scary when you wake up and you've got a flat tire, but we'll trudge along and we'll see where we get. We'll make it. Just keep pushing along. Yeah, the paradoaks, you hear them now? Hear that sound? That's them. They're all on the side of the cut, um, the cutting here, all along, because it's got all the dirt and the cutting. That's where they nest. And I think they try and nest just before the snakes come out, because otherwise the snakes will go in their hollows. So I've just passed the seasonal gate closure, so other vehicles can get to where I am now. You can see through there. It's the west face of Mount Bogon, Victoria's highest mountain. Definitely feels like spring weather now. It's a little bit chilly this morning, like I said. I think it's because of the humidity and stuff. Now, which way do we go? I'm pretty sure it's straight on. Pyramid Hill Fire Trail North. No. Tracks a lot better now. When the bulldozer does it, it leaves those caterpillar marks and it plows it all up so it's all soft. Which they have to do, I know, don't get me wrong, <laughs> track maintenance is necessary. This is, wow, this is a lot smooth. My tyre's staying up, which is good. I'm glad. Sealant must have worked. I do like this road track. It just meanders its way around, not doing huge climbs or that, hugging the side of the hill, the mountain. So very peaceful in here.
I'm finding the loof forks pretty good. They do take out the bumps. Like, obviously not, they're only 60 mil travel on the loof forks compared to other forks that are 120, but because they're carbon fiber, they absorb it and then give it back. So you don't waste energy. So I never like suspension forks. I always found them just, well, too cumbersome and using too much energy, basically. And every bit of energy counts out here. So no, they're seeming good. I've just got to get a front bag sort of thing that I can put on, front handlebars, and some attachments for the forks to put some water on there, and then they'll be good, I think. I got the 85 kilo recommend for riders over 85 kilos, even though I'm not 80 kilos, not if it's probably just 70. That's because it's going to be loaded up all the time, and that's when I want them to work, so. I got told by someone, don't get the light, the lightweight ones, the ones below, um, for under 80 kilos. That's what I got told by someone. And they seem good at the moment. I just think I have to have it weight on so that way it's good. That seems the way. At least this way you get a few kilometers done. When you rise really steeply and then descend, descend really steeply, it can be demoralizing because it's like energy zapping, but you don't get any roll back for it like this. You're at least getting a fair bit of roll. I'm not using the brakes to that, up to a little bit, but sometimes you go up those steep hills and you push as hard as you can, and then the whole way down you have to brake as hard as you can. <laughs> like, at least here you can let off and roll a bit. It's good. Howdy. Shooters. Some samba deer, I imagine. And there's a lot of samba deer out here at the moment. Still hard to find though. Well, this is my last creek crossing. I'm just going to leave my shoes on, leave the load on, I don't think it's that deep, and hope for the best. Yeah, okay. <laughs> don't think it's that deep if I go over here. Okay, no more creek crossings. Oof. When you get down to free muesli bars and a packet of noodles, you get do get concerned a little bit just in case something goes wrong. That all good. Well, still not there yet. But from here. 
be relatively smooth sailing. in farmland not far until I'll be on the rail trail there's a magpie it's magpie season haven't been swooped yet there's an apple orchard I did cherry pruning this season pruned all the cherry trees not a magpie attack me yet. One looks like it wants to. <laughs> so round the corner and we'll be on the rail trail. There's the rail trail just there. 